Cinnamon sugar cake donuts are my weakness, but donuts are kind of a pain in the butt to make. First you have to make the dough, then you have to roll the dough, then you have to cut out the dough, fry the dough, you get the gist. So I ditched the donut idea all together and came up with an easy muffin recipe that mimics both the flavor and the texture of cinnamon sugar cake donuts. These muffins are totally worthy of your time and your taste buds. Let's get started. You're gonna start by adding two and three quarter cup of all-purpose flour to a medium-sized mixing bowl. Now for the leavener, we're gonna have two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. Be sure not to mix those two up. There's a lot of leavener that goes into this muffin batter and it's what creates a beautifully puffed up muffin with that cake donut like texture. Next, going into the dry mix, we're gonna have a three quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt. A half and a quarter makes three quarter. And of course, you can't have a cinnamon donut without the cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon right into the bowl. Give this a whisk until you see that cinnamon evenly distributed throughout the flour. We are officially on to all the good stuff. You're gonna need two thirds cup of butter going right into a large mixing bowl. Two thirds cup is about one stick of butter plus three tablespoons, 11 tablespoons. One, two, three. Add one cup of sugar right in. I'm gonna use my handheld mixer to whip this up, but you could also use a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. Once everything looks like it's come together, we can crank up the speed to medium high, and we're gonna keep going until this mix is light, pale yellow, and looking extra fluffy. Three to four minutes. I like to set a timer for myself so I don't cheat. You may find that you need to scrape down the sides of the bowl and then mix again. So let me show y'all. This is looking pale, extra fluffy, and super creamy. We can now add in the eggs. One large egg going down. Egg number two. Mix them in. Scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure that all of that egg is getting really nice and evenly incorporated in there. And then we're gonna add some vanilla extract, one teaspoon. Now what we're gonna do is take these dry ingredients and we're gonna mix them into the wet ingredients alternating with one cup of whole milk. I'm gonna add the dry ingredients in three additions and the milk in two. So first, we'll add a third of the dry ingredients. Make sure you start mixing on low. Add half of the milk. Another third of the dry ingredients. The rest of the milk. And the last of the dry ingredients. Now this is a thick muffin batter, so you can expect to put in a little extra elbow grease at the end. And then we'll just kind of fold it until we no longer see any more specks of dry flour. The batter's ready to go. What we're gonna do now is prep the muffin pan, get those muffins in the oven, and then we're gonna move on to that crunchy cinnamon sugar topping. My favorite pan for baking muffins is a nonstick, light colored, standard sized muffin pan. Try to say that three times fast. To this pan, we're going to add some parchment paper baking cups. And then to take it even to the next level of precaution, we are also going to spray this pan with some non-stick cooking oil. My favorite tool for scooping muffins is actually an ice cream scoop. I'm gonna come in and just give it a good scoop right into the liner.
They're gonna go into a 350 degree oven and cook for about 25 minutes until they're nice and springy to the touch. The muffins are almost finished in the oven. Now it's time to move on to that buttery cinnamon sugar coating. What you're gonna do first is melt down one third cup of unsalted butter in the microwave. Just gonna pop this in a microwave safe bowl, cover with some saran wrap so it doesn't explode on me in the microwave. I microwave for about 30 seconds, check on it and see how it's doing. Now we're gonna whip up that cinnamon sugar mixture. So I'm gonna add a third of a cup of granulated sugar to a little bowl, followed by a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then I like to add just one little pinch of salt. Just give this a stir till it looks nice and mixed. And we'll set it aside while we wait on those muffins to finish cooking. The muffins are puffed up and looking perfectly golden. As soon as the pan is cool enough to handle, you can start pulling out those muffins and dipping away. Now I like to remove the wrapper altogether, and then you'll just take the top of the muffin. And if you wanted to melt down more butter and do the whole muffin, you could totally go for it. But you just want to get the top nice and saturated and then give it a great big swirl and that cinnamon sugar coating and just keep going until you have them all topped off. I wanted a cake donut, so I made these muffins instead, and I am feeling completely fulfilled and satisfied. If you're looking for more amazing muffin recipes to try, be sure to check out our cinnamon apple muffins next. I'll catch you next time.